Hello and welcome to Medieval Monday. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at a flawed design of helmet from the 12th and 13th century, the flat topped helmet. Now, to fully understand the problem with this helmet, we need to go back 200 years to take a look at what was being used then. During the Norman invasion of England in the 11th century, a very popular style of helmet was the nasal or conical helm. These helmets derive their name from the nose guard and cone-shaped top to them. So why did they have these features? It's quite simple really. The nasal or nose guard provided some protection for the wearer's face without restricting their vision, and the curved cone-shaped top encouraged blows to glance away rather than impact directly into the person's head. During the Crusades of the early Middle Ages, bows and crossbows began to be more commonly used on the battlefield, particularly during sieges by both the attackers and the defenders. This meant that if you were taking part in a siege and didn't have ample face protection, then you ran the risk of being shot by arrows, hit by rocks or flowers or babies. In response to the increased threat of being hit in the face with things, helmets began to provide a little more protection, and then a little more, until the wearer's head was fully encased in armour, and the curved design of previous helmets gave way to a simpler, flat-topped design, which has some problems. Because flat-topped helmets are flat, when they're hit from the top, it's like banging a drum with a weapon, with predictable consequences. With none of the force deflected, even if the armour isn't penetrated, it can still do extensive damage to the wearer's neck, making heavy hitting weapons like maces and two-handed axes incredibly dangerous, even if you are wearing a flat-topped helmet. So why was the flat-topped helmet used for almost two centuries? The answer may actually lie in the simplicity of its construction. A flat top is much easier cheaper and quicker to produce, and with thousands upon thousands of Christians taking up the call of the Crusades, an affordable, protective choice would have been what they were after. Eventually, Armour has improved the design by adding a curved top and creating the Sugarloaf helmet. Sugar used to be sold in pointed loaves, which is where the Sugarloaf helmet gets its name. Just like flat-topped helmets, the Sugarloaf helmet provides full face protection. It also had the pointed top, just like the helmets from the Norman invasion 200 years before, which just goes to show that progress isn't always straightforward. 